Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Today we're going to talk a little bit about bonds. and I'm going to introduce bonds in this video and talk about what bonds are because I think that bonds become one of the most difficult topics in financial for students but it really shouldn't be. The key to working with bonds is understanding what they are and the components of a bond and I think that that really helps. So if you're thinking about a company say a company needs a million dollars okay for some type of capital project whether it's you know they're gonna build a new building or they're gonna launch a new product line um, but the company needs a million dollars so how can the company get that million dollars well you've probably already learned that the company can either generate liabilities or generate more equity by selling stock. Okay, so in this video, we're going to generate on the we're going to talk about the liability side. And so for liabilities, we've probably dealt the most with notes payable. Right, you see notes payable a lot, and notes payable is typically when the company goes to a bank and asks for a loan right so in that case the bank controls the terms of that loan okay another option is what we're going to talk about in this video would be bonds okay and when a company decides that it needs money and it's going to do it through debt rather than going to the bank the company can issue bonds and sell to the public Okay, so rather than going to the bank and the bank sets the terms, the company can issue bonds and the company sets the terms, which makes things a little bit different. Now, when, when you're dealing with bonds, so the company is working directly selling to the public. Okay, so imagine that the company decides to sell $1 million dollars. of we'll say 10% um, five-year bonds okay now you might say hey 10% that sounds great especially with today's interest rates but you have to look at what the market rate is okay so this 10% here okay this is called the contract rate It's also called the face rate. Okay. Um, so this is the rate that they're going to pay in interest on the bonds. Now, so if they make the bond, if they make the payments once a year, just to be, you know, really simple, 10% of $1 million. So that's a hundred thousand dollars in interest payments. Okay, and how do I get that? Remember the interest equals PRT, which is principal times rate times time. Okay, so what I did is I took 1 million times my rate of 10% times my time, which is one payment per year, right? Because I didn't say it was semi annually or four times a year or quarterly. So that would be oh, times 10 percent there we go okay so that's how I got the hundred thousand dollars so hundred thousand dollar interest per year okay so now you might say wow you know that's great if I put in a million dollars I'll get a hundred thousand dollars in interest per year that's great but what if the market was paying something else so when you're dealing with bonds market is very important and market is what investors could get in alternative investments if they took their million dollars and did something else with it so imagine that my market rate is 10% okay 
So if my market is 10% and my bonds are paying 10%, then people say, hey, yeah, I'd be willing to pay face value for that. So people would be willing to pay a million dollars, which is the face value. Okay. Now, what happens if the market rate is 12%? Well, if the market's 12%, but we're only paying 10, people don't really want to buy our bonds because they can get 12% elsewhere. So we're not going to be able to sell the bonds for a million dollars, right? People are going to want a discount. So if the market is higher than your face rate or, the contact, or your contract rate, people are going to want a discount. Now what if the market rate was 8%? Okay, so if everybody's getting 8% on their investments, but we're offering 10, people are going to want those bonds, right? Because they get a higher rate of return. So if the market's 8, we're paying 10, creates a lot of demand, and therefore it puts a premium on our bonds. People would be willing to pay more for the bonds than they would if um, if the market rate was higher. Okay, so market rate's really important when you're looking at bonds. Because in the next couple videos, we're going to determine how do we actually figure out if a bond is going to sell at face value for a discount or a premium, and how much is that amount going to be.